Hey everybody, Michael Snyder here at California Weather Watch. Today is February 23rd and right now we are looking at the mid-level water vapor loop. You see BC, Washington, Oregon, California here. Take a closer look, you can see the low pressure system brought a significant snowstorm across the Portland area. There is now pulling away from the coastline. It's going to move down across California and eventually over Southern California over the next few days, bringing blizzard conditions for some areas. Pretty substantial storm moving out across the region. As you've been hearing, as what we've been going over here the last few days, we'll take a look at those details here coming up look at all the current hazards in effect now you can see blizzard warnings for some of the sierras southern california mountains first ever blizzard warning issued for southern california you can see across central nevada even too including tonopah nevada out there and a lot of the state here is blanketed in winter storm warnings winter weather advisories wind advisories high wind watches and warnings flooding flood watches we got it all here across the state here folks now, taking a look at this, day one through three overall winter storm impacts. That includes the grapevine down there across I-5. Extreme conditions possible, blizzard conditions for the higher terrain all the way up to the Sierra Nevada, including portions of Nevada as well. And uh, southwest Utah, including northern portions of Arizona. Some pretty brutal conditions coming in here, folks. And we had some snow all the way down to the sea level out here across northern California here. And we're going to continue to bring some snow down across the area as we go on in through this weekend. This is looking at day one, thunderstorm potential here. Much of the state is included here, including just skirting Vegas there now for northern Arizona. This includes day two. Day three, Southern California is at upper level low, moves across the area here. More on this towards the end of video. Some fun stuff we're going to look at that is possible with this upper level low as it moves across Southern California here at the end of the period. This is looking at uh, National Weather Service Eureka. Got snow all the way down towards sea level out there. Pretty impressive. Nice pictures there from the National Weather Service there. And you can see some of the higher hills around the area. Blanket of snowfall across the region. Highway 80. Look at that. Do not travel if you do not have to out there across some of the higher terrain of California. And it's not going to take much elevation here, folks, to see some substantial snowfalls as you've been, uh, as you probably know, if you've been out and about here across Northern California already. And this is down the hills, down towards the Bay Area as well. The snow potential continues as we go on in through tomorrow coming up here. Now, this is looking at the very dangerous marine conditions this week down for Southern California, National Weather Service, Los Angeles. Big seas, big winds coming across the area here. Watch out for that breaking waves possible at the harbor entrances. So watch out for those currents out there as well. This is for uh, National Weather Service, Los Angeles, too. Kind of highlighting the snow potential here, about 4,500 feet up to 7 feet. Just an amazing storm incoming here. 2,500 feet, 6 to 12 inches. 1,500 feet, the snow level could drop down to 1 to 6 inches possible. Big rains coming in here flooding potential uh, very cold temperatures here some extreme wind chills at the higher terrain as well so you guys know the drill pay attention to your local national weather service offices do not travel if you don't have to mountains and foothills could be gusting up to 75 miles per hour blizzard warning issued you've probably heard about this already i'm just trying to drill it into your head here road closures for many hours is expected now taking a look at this, I wanted to show you guys this for Nevada as well. This is really rare too. Total snowfall, big amounts out there. Nice dry, fluffy snow with gusts to 50 miles per hour. It's going to be blowing and drifting snow out there. Uh, and you can see the blizzard warning does include 2 to 9 inches with gusts to 60 miles per hour. That can really uh, bring some uh, snow drifts of over several feet out there. So watch out. This can totally blanket and cover roadways out there. Do not travel if you don't have to. This is Las Vegas. Check out all the winter storm running surrounding Las Vegas, some of the higher terrain as well on in through Saturday night. Now this is looking at some snow totals here for the Southern California. Look at Big Bear Lake, five to six feet of snow. Big totals coming up here, folks. Watch out. Heads up across the higher terrain. And this is the backcountry avalanche watch. This is National Weather Service Reno here, but this goes for a lot of the Sierra Nevada here. Watch out for this high avalanche danger here as we go on into this weekend. And this is more from Reno, Nevada here. You can see heavy and moderate mountain snowfall out there Friday, Saturday, on into Sunday out there. So big impacts coming up here, folks. This is a little bit further south of the Sierras here. This is National Weather Service. I think this was issued by, uh, I think this is down towards Las Vegas, actually. I'm not sure who this was issued by. But again, avalanche watch, avalanche danger is going to be high across much of the Sierra Nevada. And if you want to measure snow, this is a really good way to do it here. 
nice rules here get yourself a snowboard a ruler out there and when the snow stops report it there send your reports to national weather service offices there put them online now this is looking a wide look at things here you can see the trough just carved out over the west here comes the bowling ball the big weather maker coming up here for the next few days across the state of california and again don't leave me for the end of the video here some exciting stuff across southern california could be coming up but then we have another one impacting the state here as we go on into the extended on in through next week as well another bowling ball moving across the region there with continued systems on in through early March across California. Now this is looking at that low pressure system that we've been talking about here off the coast of Oregon. This eventually drops down across the region. So it's going to bring that blizzard to some of the higher terrain here as we go on in through the day Friday. And you can see that upper level low really move across Southern California here, taking its sweet time frontal system right in the wake of that storm there, and then a stronger frontal system there as well. And then we're going to drop another low down all the way across Southern California again on in through next week with the potential for more systems after that later in the period here on the European model. Now, taking a look here, this is total snow, European last night's run, Couture ratio in inches. Just some incredible snowfall amounts coming in here. This is out into Saturday night, Sunday morning here. You can just see the huge amounts coming. Then additional frontal systems as we go. This is only out 90 hours, three and a half days from now. So you can see really heavy snowfall amounts, even including portions of Nevada, northern Arizona, Utah out there. Sierra Nevada is going to get blasted. Some of the higher hills around the coastal ranges. Uh, for Central California, Northern California, snowfall possible all the way out to sea level there also. Now, this is looking at mean sea level pressure, just a visualization of what's coming here. You can see that low just kind of taking its time down there, pumping some extreme moisture up over Southern California and up across the Sierras here as we go. This upper level low finally moves across southern california here as we start to go through the week and more on that here in a moment this is looking at 500 millibar temperature here and this gives you a good idea what's going on above the surface here this is at 18,000 feet and look at this just massive polar bowling ball here in the upper levels of the atmosphere taking its sweet time moving across the state look at this very cold air aloft moving down over southern california here very impressive polar lobe this is looking at the temper, uh, the wind, sorry, at 18,000 feet. And you can clearly see that low pressure system coming down across the region. Powerful jet stream moving across California here, bringing all that snowfall to the region there. Just wanted to show you that visualization at 18,000 feet there. And you can see that upper level low really just kind of move across Southern California. Total precipitation in inches. Put this into motion. This is the NAM 3KM. You can see all this rainfall that's going to occur across some of the Los Angeles metro down through San Diego, Santa Barbara, getting some good amounts as well. And a lot of this is going to fall as snowfall for the higher terrain. They're expecting up to seven feet for some areas here. No joke, you guys. Now, looking at this apparent temperature, this does include wind chill. And you can see it's very chilly across the state as it is. It warms up a little bit across the extreme uh, southeast portion of the state there in the deserts. But there comes that upper level low keeping us chilly here across the state. And you'll notice this frontal system going through the day Friday across Southern California here. More on that here in a moment. Now you can see the cold front crashes down across the region here and keeps things pretty chilly. Look at some of these wind chills across some of the Sierra Nevada as well. Chilly across the entire state going through this weekend. Now this is surface based Cape, NAM 3KM. We've got thunderstorm potential with this cold air aloft coming across the region. Upper level low moves down across the area. And believe it or not, there's actually somewhat of a tornado threat really from the Bay Area all the way down through Southern California here is this upper level low spins through the area Friday. And then this upper level low is going to move across the region as we go Saturday. You can clearly see the spin there. Pretty unstable conditions there. Some good turning in the atmosphere. I would not be shocked to hear of a water spout report or even a brief coastal tornado here with this upcoming setup as you go through the weekend. This is significant tornado parameter here. And watch as this upper level low comes. You can see these parameters exist from the Bay Area along the coastline all the way down through Southern California as that frontal system rolls through on the day Friday. And then the upper level low is going to come through and bring some additional parameters, you know, good wind shear, instability associated with that system there. So there is that potential here, folks, and they do happen across California once in a while. Now, this is looking at holicity. This just kind of shows you the spin in the atmosphere. And you can see that frontal system coming in here at about zero to three uh, meters here. You need about 150 here, and that cuts off right at the blue. So you can see there's plenty of turning the atmosphere to bring a brief coastal tornado with some of this activity all the way on in through Sunday to, down to Southern California as well. Composite reflectivity, just kind of giving you guys an idea what the Doppler radar should look like as this system moves across California. You can see all the copious amounts of precipitation moving across the region there. And again, that spin in the atmosphere aloft. So yeah, lots going on across California. If you need more detailed information, just... Uh, 
once you put out once I put out a forecast, things change almost immediately. So just stay tuned to your local National Weather Service offices. Be careful out there. There's going to be huge waves along the coastline. Uh, there's going to be some extreme precipitation amounts, huge snows, blizzard conditions, high winds. you got the potential for thunderstorms. It is a wild time out there. And it is a very exciting winter if you are a weather lover here across the state of California here. And it looks like it's going to continue on a bit on entry next week also. So we'll watch this coming one day at a time here. We'll, I'll do my briefing again tomorrow and we'll check things out and see how it's trending. The slow pressure will be further down the coastline by the time we do this briefing and the storm will be underway as we go on in through tomorrow for Southern California, especially in those blizzard warnings across the Sierra and Southern California mountains there. So anyway, hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I'll do my briefing tomorrow and I'll talk to you guys then.